This is going to be a good test for both of these teams, though. Right? This is a game that, realistically, both of them have to win. You know, we've heard a lot of people talking about uh, that, 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 that LAN event uh, uh, around Atlantic City, we, we assume. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what we've heard, right? And, and you look, realistically, if either of these teams are going to get there, they, they've got to win this game. It's critical. Right now, it is Colorado trying to uh, stay this off. Is Wichita State trying to get possession? Really, both these teams struggling for any meaningful possession so far. Uh, a lot of big clears. There's a decent shot over the top. Spark came through to try to finish it off, but ball dropped a little too quickly. Spark rotating back. Thumper's going to come in with a touch. It's two defenders who are up against that wall. Three attackers from Wichita State. Nobody can make contact. Mr. Gopher has to speed back, does a good job just to even get in front of that and try to slow this thing down a little bit. Escorts it back out to the midfield. No boost to work with, trying to dance around Spark. Just sends it straight up in the air. This game just feels tense. Kind, kind of like similar to the last series, where you're kind of just waiting for that piece of quality. You're kind of waiting for maybe that one mistake as well. It could be either side of the coin. Um, I just feel like we've now got a consistent queen thing for the rest of this broadcast. Nice ball win! It's saved by 25 cent! WSU take the lead. Yep, 25 cent or our color, or our quarter, excuse me. Uh, then we get in that opening goal. Yeah. And it was just a mistake. It was a, it, like you were talking about, with that one little mistake, it was a miss. Uh, in the yellow half, and boom, it just opened the pitch right up and all of Colorado's players were pushed up too far. Well, that's an interesting touch. I've never seen something like that before. Oh, that was really unique. And it might have actually just presented Colorado for chance. Unfortunately, it doesn't really come to anything. Spark trying to clear the zone. Good challenge from quarter. Fibro going up for it. Gets the touch, pushes it up there, and not gonna stick with it. Okay, yeah, tries to, but Sparks like, get off my ball. Go back into, go back into the shop. <laughs> oh, that works. Yeah. Is that an interaction you have every day? Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Shot off the near post, gets saved by quarter. Uh, Mr. Gopher's gonna find and find the clear, buy a little bit of space. Uh, ends up getting demoed themselves. It's a physical play from Colorado here, but they haven't been able to do much with it so far. That's good touch as Spark comes across. Not really leading to much there. Uh, this has been a really inconsistent game. Oh, Fum, I think Fumper go, going for the bump there. Maybe could have tried to redirect that instead. This is a really intense game. Both teams not really giving each other anything or any sort of room to, to work with. Kind of similar to last season, as I was saying previously. It's going to be quality oh. and mistakes. And there's a moment of quality right there from Spark. A beautiful shot. Uh, just able to get it nice and high over the defender. A little bit of a late reaction there from quarter. And no chance to save that ball. Tied things up. There you go. Colorado answering back and a little bit of momentum behind him now as Thumper screams away with it. Oh, Pyro just uh, narrowly able to stave off that goal. Ooh, awkward touch from Spark. Here we go. Here it's an opening for Mr. Gopher. Had a really good series last week. Almost drops it in. Oh, it'd be nice to see Mr. Gopher score there because we've been playing really well in the past couple of weeks. As is the entirety of Wichita. They uh, boost themselves back up the ladder. What the hell? Oh no! I've just cursed them. It's the caster curse. It, what's happened here? <laughs> oh, it's Spark with just that little push, and we get that last second touch on the ball to give it that extra oomph. Uh, it just beats the defense right back down. Catches Wichita State sleeping a little bit. I mean, sleeping's right. It wasn't even that great of a shot, right? It was, it was pretty weak, to be honest. I'm not sure what happened there for Wichita. I, I, I think it was just cast across. They can blame me on that one. Just a couple of in their improvement in week, recent weeks, and uh, yeah, that happens. Deservedly so. Not, not on Wichita's part, but just my fault. <laughs> no, 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 totally, totally. We, 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 we take those. We, we take those. We'll, we'll, we'll own the, the curses. Nice touch there. Wichita State keeping it in the wide half. Looking for that tie goal. Pyro is going to go up top. Has 25 cent in the middle. Quarter gets beat to that ball, though. Spark's going to drive it right back down. 
Mr. Gopher holding the near post so far. Fibro able to find some room to work. Gopher gets a touch in to send it up in the air. Corner coming up to try to finish it. Spark beats him to the ball, and Starvin's going to chase this one Oof. down. Has a chance in the top right corner. It's the post. The follow-up is there. Gumpler scores the rebound and increases the lead to 3-1. Oh, I thought that, that, that was awesome from Starvin. I thought that was unlucky not to go in, and uh, Thumber just follows it up. And when we talk about those little moments of quality, and, you know, those little moments of mistakes, I think, that, you know, all of those little moments have been on Colorado's side. They have that one mistake from Wichita's score, but... Ever since they conceded, right? We've just saw three good moments of quality, maybe four if you include the star from the shot. But um, pretty good moments of quality from Colorado ever since they conceded. Really good response, but pretty impressive. We talked about it in the last series how Montana had some pretty impressive responses. It's been pretty alright from Colorado. Oh, but look at this response here. Wichita State pouring on the pressure. Perhaps a little too, little too late. Uh, but I'd definitely like to see more out of uh, more out of that, or more of that out of them. Uh, of course, they do give it up in transition, but you can't fault them for going all in with 10 seconds left. They had to, right? I mean, they let's be had honest. To. I mean, I'm not going to count this as a 4 1. In my notes, it's 3 1. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, just, just noting for the, the, the rest of the series, right? We haven't seen that little bit of magic yet from Wichita. Yeah, they got that goal, but realistically, it was capitalizing off a, a Colorado mistake. We need to see more of that Wichita magic. Um, I. I don't know if this is accurate, but um, I've just been told by my, my local sources, my, my uh, yeah local British sources that have told me that Wichita, um, that they're famous for you know magic spells and uh, spells and potions, and they may, may need one of them potions because they're, they're lacking a bit of magic right now. Yeah, uh, I like it. I like it. I was trying to think. There's got to be a clever potion, like a potion of goal scoring, or I don't, I don't know. I was trying to tie in some clever like tabletop references, but uh, I'm I'm not as familiar with all of the potions. So there you go. Uh, uh, maybe you may don't go to Wichita, Matt. That's, a, just, uh, <laughs> That's yeah. Apparently, I should go to Wichita. Only they know what potion they need if they want to win this series. I'm wondering about these potions. Uh, these mystical, magical potions. Hey, they need something. I don't know exactly what the answer is. They definitely need something. I did like the aggression we saw in the last 30 seconds of the game, uh, and maybe that's. Maybe that's what it calls for, is to try to, to strangle the defense a little bit more. Uh, now, I mean, of course, you don't want to give up anything in transition. We do see, I think, when two score, two goals were scored out of counter-strike opportunities from Colorado. So it, it's, it's that delicate balance, right? That delicate balance of, of keeping aggression on and strangling the defense, but then being able to, to get those quick rotations back. Yeah, I'm not sure what I really want out of Wichita because that game it felt even at points. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, some, of the, some of the other series we've seen as the team struggled to join the correct teams. Um, look, I'm not sure what I really want to see out of each team, other than other than all, what I know is that yeah, Colorado real realistically have a little bit more magic than than Wichita right now. Well, hey, hey, the result uh, speaks for itself. It, what I mean, this Colorado squad, I, I'm glad we're getting the good version today. You know, we're talking about being a bit of a coin flip because you're talking about a squad that has seven people on the roster. So I can imagine it can be difficult to, to maintain that synergy if you're not playing with the same starting three every time. Now we are getting, you know, we've seen Starve and Spark and Thumper uh, typically on the pitch for them. So... Hopefully that helps develop and, and maintain the consistency that we've been looking for out of the Buffaloes. Yeah, it's just it's just a weird game to think about this one because realistically we can suggest all the adaptations we want, right? Exactly. You know, I, I would like Wichita to play more aggressive. I would like Colorado to to be just more consistent in in keeping the ball, right? I would sure. like those two things, right? And I think those would be helpful for these teams. But realistically, in, in this sort of intense series where Realistically, you know, we think it's top sixteen uh, makes the the final line event. Yes, sir. Both the both these teams need to win, right? You know, yeah. and I feel like when there's those high that high of a stakes on the line, there's other things will kick in. Just your standard instincts, and we might see a really competitive game like we did in the previous series, where you know every single ball is going to be chased, where there's going to be little to no space, or we might see a very open game. I don't mind which one I get. All I want to see is two teams really going for it. Two teams really fighting uh, to get the win. 
Uh, and you know, both these teams have have signs of brilliance. Both these teams uh, have been two and two uh, through spring. So you know, the past four games have, have been pretty even. Uh, I mean, and there's you know, been tough opponents on both sides. Have a, you know, a little bit easier opponents on both sides. So it's, I mean, really a kind of a mirror tale uh, coming through for spring for both of these teams. Uh, Colorado are probably the closest to, to getting, I mean, they've got the better record by two games. So they're probably the closest to hitting that 16 mark, that precious top 16 to get them into the postseason and, and on track to the national championships. Uh, but uh, Hey, if Wichita comes in and puts together four wins in a row, like I wouldn't put it past them. They're on good form too, but I think that's the important thing, right? You know, they've yeah. had a really, really rough goal, but you know, especially in the first split. When I do the second split, and you know, doing better in this split. Uh, even uh, I can't remember who it was. Was it Weber they played? I think it was Weber, or, one of the, or maybe NAU. One of those teams. where Piper had a really good performance. Um, they can get a little bit more luck, get a little bit more consistency going. And then I don't see why Wichita State can't climb and make a last uh, second dash to the top sixteen. Yeah, that was Weber State. Uh, the game that you're thinking of. Good memory, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. All right, back in your game too. After uh, making sure our server is optimal for both of our squads. What a great move. Get over the midfield line, but Porter eventually gets robbed of it. Ball bouncing around midfield. Pybro is the one who's going to go up for it. Try to put it off the backboard. Starman is able to defend that, send it into the corner, but Gopher's waiting. Gopher trying to center. Spark intercepts and on the attack. Head University of Colorado. Spark's going to put one in the middle, but Thumper gets demoed. The center player, the score, put back into the spawn. And there is just nothing left. The plan falls apart here for University of Colorado. Well, that's a nice lob up from Spark. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. And neither was, neither was going to at least be a big, big chance. That is such an important touch. Why don't you even deal with that? You, you don't deal with that. That's the answer. Of all this time. It's so impossible to deal with those ones. I mean, that, that, that's going to be defended well, and it's going to drop down back to Spark, or is Spark going to hit it mid you, It's really difficult to commit to those as well. Yeah, I mean, you got to go up in the air for it. Like, that's the, that's the only option. Maybe try to read the backboard, but hey, it, it takes a, a, a better player and a smarter mind than me to figure out what the answer is. Clearly, Colorado made that one very difficult. Starman trying to go in now. 25 sit does get that save. Thumper with a shot. Had a lot of oomph on it, just slightly off target. Spark and Thumper now against the wall. It's going to spark to get the touch, but Gopher and Pybro are there. Thumper answers back with another centering pass. Other two players uh, from the Buffaloes, a little too far out to do much with it. Trying to play that midfield line. Thumper has to kind of fall back. Didn't have any boost to work with. Finally, Spark pushes it down, and University of Colorado just rotate back, try to grab some racehorses. Good touch. That's going to be awkward to deal with as well. That's well dealt with by the Colorado back point. Again, get, get him to... I don't really see anything from Wichita. They're kind of here and they'll all be playing some Rocket League. They're playing some good stuff. But every bit of quality, every everything that's going to lead to a goal, I mean, realistically, it's been all Colorado. All right? I, haven't, I haven't seen that bit of quality from Wichita. And I, I, they're, not going to, they're not going to win this series the way they're playing. Yeah, they, they leave Thumper just wide open on the wall. They got Thumper. Uh, either way, I give a lot of room. Give a lot of room for Colorado to work, and they're able to set up that shot. Uh, everybody from Wichita just fell back into the net. And here they go again. Ooh, that's Spark nice. Spark. Up the wall. Oh, yeah, that was a cool little set play. Thumper's going to center to Starvin. Starvin sends it a little wide. Spark with the follow up. There's two defenders in the way. That one's not going to go. Eventually, Fibro and Quarter combine to get it out of there. I don't know if it's going to result in much offense, though. That was an interesting pinch. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> what? Very interesting pinch. Full chance. Yeah, this game is wide. in. This game is in danger of petering out. Well, you know what? Started off really intense, really close, kind of similar to the previous series, where we're just two teams battling on night. That's kind of what I wanted to say. We're not seeing it right now. There's just nothing from Wichita. No fight right now. No fight at all. And uh, Colorado are going to run away with this. 
you know, and part of it, you know, it's a little bit later game in the night, you know, maybe they're they're starting to run out of steam, starting to run out of energy. Didn't have, didn't save enough in the gas tank. Uh, I'm not, I mean, just completely, you know, theory crafting here, just speculation, 100%. But something, you know, fatigue is definitely something our players have to contend with and, and you got to think about in, in these longer days. Yeah, I just worry for them because it's the first minute and a half of the series, right? Yeah, granted, minute and a half and an entire series, not, not really a big deal. But you know, look, look, probably the better team, they were keeping the ball pretty well. Everything just seems to have disappeared. Ever since Colorado won game one, or maybe even scored their second goal game one, I think that was probably a, a, a better timing to talk about. Just haven't seen anything, any oh. sort of life out of Wichita. No, and, and Colorado have just gone up another gear. Like, they've come with the aggression on. Beautiful pass from Starvin into Thumper for this one. And it's been relentless. And, and this is exactly what, what Colorado needs to do. And they're on track for a really clean, dominant 3-0. Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate. You're, it really is. This was lined out to be a really good series. Which are a good team. You know, they've been on good form. But Colorado, again, they're running away with it. They, they're not going up the gears, as you were saying, right? And yeah. kind of, uh, kind of like I'm talking about the effect that it's had on Wichita. You know, they, they, they're kind of, it doesn't look like there's any life in them right now. They're not showing any signs of life. The opposite effect is happening in Colorado. They're just going up and up and up and up and up. I think it's just really the power of momentum we're seeing right now. And the power of the mental game. Uh, I mean, the, the mental is so important in Rocket League as it is with pretty much any esports title. But with how the tempo is so important in Rocket League that I think it makes it even that much more important. And you, know, you, you get, you start getting defeated, you start feeling defeated, and the team goes quiet, calm, suffer, uh, and, and then the results are felt and, and seen on the pitch. And so it's something you definitely gotta fight through. Uh, and, you know, it's something we saw, you know, the difference between a championship team and something we saw Montana really pull through. Uh, and when we were just, uh, we just talking with them about that. Is, is just fighting your way back into it. And hey, maybe maybe that goal from quarter, maybe it could be just enough for them to fight their way back into game three. Well, I think that could be an important moment. Remember, uh, it, just in our last series, between Montana and, and Weaver, M Montana were down 2-0 in game five. They were out of it. They were crumbling. They were crumbling. I, I, and uh, I mean, I think it was the parents everyone watching. Just a little goal from Hyper, and they suddenly use that to, to push the, their entire way to the series when and keep their undefeated record for the season. Which Tony moments like that, they can get a moment that they can use to, to bring their mental back, revitalize themselves, then they've 100% got a chance in this series because we've seen them play some good Rocket League, not just this season, but this series as well. And you know what, those two goals in what, 30 seconds or so? They can use that, use it as a nice mental reset. This, game, this series is not done. No, it's certainly not. And certainly not if Quarter has anything to say about it. That's Quarter's third goal of the day. Uh, the only person to score here for the Shockers out of Wichita State so far. This is going to be University of Colorado going up to match point. GG's for them. They're on track. I don't think Colorado needs to change anything, Ocean. This is completely up to Wichita to try to dig deep and find some momentum and find a way to fight back into this quarter trying to give some hope trying to give you know a little bit of reinforcements and, and some confidence to the squad uh but it, it's up to the team as a whole to carry that into game three make sure to not lose your comms and make sure to keep your head in the game i mean colorado doesn't have any, any reason to change anything now but no. I mean, the, there is there is the, the potential opportunity here for Rich to say, yeah, we just got two goals in 30 seconds. Just do that in the rest of the series, right? And then that's when Colorado has to change things. Colorado hasn't been threatened at all in, in game two or game one, really, for the second half of game one. For about seven and a half minutes of game playing our goals, going, Colorado hasn't been threatened. You know, they don't really have to really worry about defending right now whatsoever. They kind of just be able to play their game, not really any adjustments, just a standard game of Rocket League for them right now. But that can change in game three, and, and Colorado need to be aware of that. Yeah, no, I'm not saying they need to, to, to slag off at all. You know, I'm not saying to just take it easy and you've got easy, easy street in front of you. Uh, Colorado need to keep the pressure on well, and, and doing what they've been doing. 
Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting. We just need to see what Wichita shows up, right? Is this a revitalized Wichita or a defeated Wichita? I mean, we'll, 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 time will tell. I mean, we'll be able to see the Telltale signs pretty quickly. I mean, it'll be really disappointing if Wichita were defeated before the series was over. I'll tell you what, quarters continuing to fight, that's for sure. That was evident by the two goals at the end of game two, an early demo. I like the physicality. Good way to, to, to get your team back into this thing, but Thumper with a good move, starving an opportunity, can't quite make connection. Spark went up for it, but not able to find it. Still Colorado doing a good job of kind of keeping it towards midfield. Go for spikes it down into the corner. The rest of the team just rotating back. Nobody following up on the ball in Wichita State just relegating themselves to their own half for the meantime. Spark is going to go ahead and push up. Good steal from Gopher. Going back the other way. Try to break this stalemate and give Wichita their first lead of the series. Fibro wins out that ball. Going up for the shot. Good save from Starvin. He doesn't really know what they wanted to do there. This is this is a weird scenario for Wichita. I think they could also do a little bit of settle. Oh, I think just settle down a little bit now. I think they just got to settle down. I mean, showing some fight would be good and all, but right now they got to settle down. They're missing balls. They're not really rotating properly. It just doesn't seem to be going like settle down, try and slow the pace of the game down. Stay in it for now. If they can stay in it, they've always got a chance of, of sneaking this game three, right? And they sneak the game three, and then, and then they can use that as motivation again. But it's a little bit messy right now. They've got to slow the pace now. Yeah, one foot in front of the other. Can't start getting ahead of yourselves uh, if you're Wichita State right now. Can't start thinking about the big picture. Just think about this game and what's in front of you right now. Fibro, it's about winning this duel. Starman's going to come away with it. Thumber puts it off the wall. The defensive play denies any follow-up to that shot. Or to that uh, pass, rather. Fibro trying to push it in. Starvin easily handles that one. And back out to midfield it goes. Thumper over the top. Trying to push it down to the yellow half. Starvin will complete with Thumper and start it. Over to Spark. Spark's going to put it off the back wall. Ends up along the side. And Starvin kind of playing with it there for a moment. Finally, Thumper... Tries to force it down, and it's just been a bit of quarter play. Nothing making it out in the center just yet. Spark tried to come through with a shot. Mr. Gopher manages to stay right in the line of that one. And good defense coming through from Wichita State. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's good. You know, just settle down for a second, serve the pace of the game. Now, it seems they're actually doing that. Mr. Gopher, really important touch there. Just makes things a little bit more awkward for Colorado. 20 more seconds or so of this, you know, once the game's kind of fizzled out a little bit then they can start to attack again once feeling a little bit more confident nice there we go this is the moment pyro needs to escalate their team forward Ooh. that's what i'm talking about uh, that's that signs of life out of the squad that's what i want to see i want to see two teams at their best uh, uh, it's not a matter of who wins i just want to see great rocket league i hate seeing players demoralized it hurts my heart ocean it hurts my heart and i'm glad to see wichita state coming in here and still fighting Need to put up a good defensive play here, but no, Thumper's going to beat them to it. All right, despite their best efforts, the defense in Wichita State gives up a goal with a minute 27 remaining in game three. You know what? Signs in the past minute and a half have been good, though. Why? Right? Uh, from Wichita State. Maybe a little, maybe a minute, actually. Not in the past minute, Wichita will be much better. They're in this, they're in this game three, right? This game three, not over yet. Colorado, yeah, they took the lead, but uh, the game settled down a little bit, and I think that's good for Wichita for the moment. They can just sneak in a little chance, then this game is not over, but oh dear. Maybe it is now. 1 minute 13 seconds on the clock, two goals. That's a big ask for Wichita. Yeah, and it, you end up with two Wichita players out of position. Quarter tries to rotate back and still just can't get in front of it. And a nice raid from Colorado, getting that beautiful centering pass. I've been able to put that one home and boom, here we go, 2-0. A definitive win. Uh, if Colorado can clean, uh, cleanly seal this deal, uh, seal this one out. Oh my goodness. Not looking good. Here's a chance though, 25 cent. Pinches the ball, picks the ball in midfield. Nice demo. Pyro might be able to get the, that pinch. 
I mean, a little bit of fortune, fortune from Sarv in there, but it's going to lead to another Colorado oh. goal. And you don't mind me saying, I think that I think that's game set match. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, there might be some Shockers fans out there that that are mad at you for it, but uh, that does that does certainly feel like the nail in the coffin, the dagger, if you would. Yeah, yeah, you paint the cat out. Yeah. This just doesn't look like normal witch talk. This is normal witch talk, sure. Right. Just something just doesn't seem right at the moment. Go for with a desperation shot from midfield. That one sent to arrive. I starve him. Quarter try to keep pressure on. And uh, I mean, they're going to play this thing out to the end. Uh, but this uh, will end up in a sweep for the University of Colorado. It's, I'm anxious to see uh, what this does to their overall standings. Uh, as you know, quite a few teams that are 6-6 six and six coming into Week 13. Uh, so depending on how that goes, I mean, this is a 3-0. So it's University of Colorado actually have one of the higher map differentials. Um, for where they're sitting, they have a positive map differential. Uh, it's at plus three currently, uh, where there's nobody else around them. Like everybody else, is like in four slots above them, all have a lower map differential. So this has the potential to legitimately knock them up, you know, three, four places in the rankings, and that's a huge jump. That's that's putting them that much closer to that precious rank sixteen that will get them to those uh, that land to the to the national championship. You, you could have said sweet 16, yeah? You know, I mean, like, you know, just traditional stereotype. But I know, I know. I'm... <sighs> Come on, Voskunk. I, I, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm throwing my notes out. That's it. That's it. Uh, I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> what are you, what my are you me. Uh, that's it. Uh, oh, they traveled man. some distance. They traveled some oh, distance. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right, congrats to Colorado. I, I, I'm a little bit disappointed with Wichita. You know, they didn't really show up and show their full potential in this series. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm sure Colorado weren't, weren't complaining. It was a good job from them. I thought they played well. Yeah. I thought Colorado were good, right? I feel Absolutely. like what, once Colorado got a foot in that series, they never really looked back and that was, they took control of the game. And that's not easy to do, but Colorado controlled the game well today. Uh, Wichita weren't really there after game one. It was really...